let's see, I'm on the wrong window. Okay. Um, World Economic Forum has put out this video. The Earth just cannot handle the sheer number of humans who live here. Something has to give. And I believe that it's up to us who have lived a good life to make sure that our children will have the opportunity to live good lives too. I have lived a good life. 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 The inference to be made is that I've lived a good life and now it's time for me to go. Well, go ahead. Off yourself. Christine Lagarde, International Monetary Fund, when, when she was you know, the president of uh, the International Monetary Fund. Um, old people live too long and this is a risk for the global e economy. Um, it's all coming together. It's all coming together very nicely. Now, this, uh, and I will link to this article, Event 202, What Are Smallpox Pandemic Simulations Foreshadowing? Smallpox Pandemic Simulations? Well, there's one that was held. Uh, ministers to take part in pandemic exercise in Germany simulating a fast spreading and dangerous outbreak of a smallpox virus originating from leopards. Smallpox. Smallpox genetically very similar to monkeypox. Monkeypox. So not going to uh, bore you with all of this information except just to say in the United States on the very day that the CDC confirmed a case of monkeypox in Massachusetts, the U.S. Biomedical Advanced Research and Development Authority, BARDA, BARDA, which is an offshoot of DARPA, announced it would purchase approximately 13 million doses of the freeze-dried version of the uh, Genios smallpox vaccine from Bavarian Nordic, a vaccine manufacturer based out of Denmark. The purchase order comes just one month after the company's RSV vaccine entered a phase three clinical trial, buying the vaccine before it is actually done with its clinical trials genetic similarities of smallpox and monkeypox. But I also think it's interesting that the writer of this article states here um, from event 201 to the controversial decisions of the Obama and Trump administrations to remove a moratorium placed on funding gain of function research where those scientists get in those labs and they try to make these viruses more lethal and more transmissible. Why would they do that? Can you figure it out? Um, it seems like the writing was on the wall all along for the outbreak of COVID-19, especially when you had Anthony Fauci in 2017 state that the U.S. would, would, face a pandemic. Um, and I'm not entirely sure if I'm recalling this correctly, but someone said that pandemic would be during the Trump years. Ah, oh, how did they know that? All right. So you would think that with everything that we have gone through with the pandemic already, all of our experiences collectively and individually, one would learn from experience. So that experience that we've already had imbues us with foresight in an atypical event that we actually learn from our mistakes. Well, that means doing some self-reflection in order to learn 
from one's mistakes, to learn from one's experience. Not a whole hell of a lot of people engage in that. As the United States announces its first confirmed domestic case of monkeypox in 2022, parallels between what led up to COVID-19 pandemic appear to be eerily similar. And the similarity is echoed in Europe with uh, this now, well, just call it Event 202, just as Event 201 simulated the global response to a coronavirus pandemic. Now Germany is hosting uh, ministers from G7 nations for the smallpox simulation. And the threat of a global monkeypox outbreak, they're projecting 250 million die of the 3 billion infections over 18 months. And it's not such a surprise that all of this is taking place right as those leaders of the world, countries, converge on Geneva at the World Economic Forum, the Davos meeting, where the World Economic, where the uh, World Health Organization will lead a meeting where those leaders sign on to an international pandemic treaty, handing over their sovereignty to the World Health Organization. The United States, a big part of that, the United States proposing amendments. And what's interesting is that, well, listen to this guy, Mr. Vaccine. It wasn't until early February when I was in a meeting that experts at the foundation said, there's no way, you know, this, there's been too much uh, travel without diagnosis uh, for us to contain this. And then at that point, we didn't really understand the fatality rate. You know, we didn't understand that it's a fairly low fatality rate and that it's a disease mainly of the elderly, kind of like flu is, although a bit different than that. Do I have to play that again? Low fatality rate, mostly with the elderly. They do come out and speak the truth. And I do believe that they do this to see what the reaction will be, to see if they can pull off yet. Oh, we have another wave coming. So New Yorkers, get those masks on, get boosted. So what do people do with this information? Can it even, can they even, you know, absorb it into their brains and consider it at all? I don't know at this point, but we're in big trouble because now we have this monkeypox, genetically similar to smallpox. And remember, November 2021, Bill Gates warns of smallpox terror attacks as he seeks research funds. Give me more money. It's not a coincidence. The CDC is monitoring local residents for cold-like symptoms following the crash of a Lowry carrying 100 CDC test monkeys. A truck and trailer carrying about 100 monkeys collided with a dump truck Friday afternoon along Route 54 just off Interstate 80 near Danville, Pennsylvania. Purportedly, three monkeys escaped the crash. The monkeys were later reportedly humanely euthanized. The CDC is now monitoring local residents for symptoms. According to a CDC spokesperson, the monkeys were en route to a CDC-approved quarantine facility after landing Friday morning in New York. They are originally from Mauritius, a country in eastern Africa. What a coincidence how this might play into what we are now seeing. World Health Organization to convene emergency meeting over monkeypox outbreak. Huh. In Geneva. 
How has monkeypox spread all over the globe at lightning speed? Well, of course, they can just lie, right? And they can just ooh, put out those statistics that scare the shit out of adults all over the world. Oh my god, oh my god. Um, or it could be true. But it's always been known that monkeypox does not spread easily between human beings. And now it is. Oh, wow. How'd they do that? Maybe that gain-of-function research? World Health Organization. Yeah, it's true. World Health Organization reportedly convening emergency meeting on monkeypox. Republicans, Democrats, it don't matter. Scott Gottlieb, a FDA secretary appointed by Trump, but oh, had to step down because of his corruption. Well, it could be dangerous. Um, you know, the case fatality rate for the particular strain that seems to be spreading is anywhere from 1% to 4%. It's particularly dangerous in, in immune-compromised individuals, people who are vulnerable. Um, it's also, you know, sort of a disabling virus. It can last two to four months. Um, you know, you get, you get fever, lymphadenopathy in the sort of prodrome phase, the lead-up phase. Um, then you develop these vesicles that can last anywhere from two to four weeks. So, uh, it, you know, it's a, it's a significant virus. I don't think it's going to be widespread in terms of an epidemic that we've seen, you know, in the order of COVID for sure. But we could get low-level spread that just becomes hard to snuff out. There are anywhere from five to 10,000 cases a year in the DRC. So there are countries where this is endemic, um, and it's not infrequent. And now that it's spreading in the community here in Western Europe and parts of the United States, it appears to be, have gotten into this country. Again, it could be hard to fully snuff out. We're not going to mass vaccinate for it. They're going to try to ring vaccinate using the vaccinia virus vaccine. Um, that's not a vaccine a lot of people are going to want to take. So it could be hard to deploy public health measures to try to get a handle on this. Wow. Interesting, isn't it? So why did we order 13 million vaccines for the monkeypox? Main concern, main concern is how the virus usually concentrated in West Africa, may be spreading. World Health Organization will also be examining why clusters include gay or bisexual men. Really? Huh. Well, that's, that's actually a tolerable picture because some are pretty hard to take when looking at monkeypox. What a coincidence! World Health Organization has an emergency meeting about monkeypox the day before all countries were signing their sovereignty over to them. What a coincidence. And Tedros, he's upset because there's a small minority group that are talking about this pandemic treaty and they ain't talking about what he wants them to talk about. Respond more effectively to the next disease X or known pathogens. Unfortunately, there has been a small minority of groups making misleading statements and purposefully distorting facts. I want to be crystal clear. WHO's agenda is public, open, and transparent. WHO stands strongly for individual rights. We passionately support everyone's right to health, and we will do everything we can to ensure that the right is reality. Respond more. The World Health Organization is for individual rights, and that's why they have convened leaders of at least 174 countries to come to Geneva and sign on to a treaty that gives this guy all power over those countries. Okay, what's happening is very dangerous. I just posted a video on who this guy is. A whole lot of people don't understand. This is a brutal dictator who is responsible for a whole lot of deaths in Ethiopia. Check it out. You do not want this guy to be in control of your health.
adults, you don't need other, other adults to make decisions about your health. You need to grow up and make those decisions yourself. Right? Right. Now, an awful lot of people think that these videos coming out of China are just fake. I don't think 